Sign out, then sign back in. Step 1. Open the Microsoft Store, then click the account icon on the top right. Step 2. Select Sign Out, close the app, and restart your computer. Step 3. Launch the Microsoft Store app, log in, then play Minecraft. Think about the account. You have a couple of Microsoft accounts? In that case, you should sign out of the current account and sign into others. If you could play Minecraft in one of the accounts, remember that account and sign into it every time you want to play the game. Bye. If you are sure you have bought the version, there is a trick you could do when Minecraft says you don't own it. Once you receive the purchase prompt, hit Buy Minecraft and enter your password. Assuming that things proceed smoothly, the game will then start to download and you could play it. Run Troubleshooter. Step 1. Press the Windows key, plus I to open settings. Step 2. Select Update and Security, then go to Troubleshoot. Step 3. Pick additional troubleshooters, then choose Windows Store apps. Step 4. Hit Run Troubleshooter, then wait as Windows tries to identify the problem. Step 5. Once the problem has been identified, click Apply This Fix. Step 6. Restart your computer. Reset Store Cache. Step 1. Close the Microsoft Store, then press the Windows key plus R to open Run. Step 2. Type WSRReset.exe then hit Enter to start the reset. Step 3. Once the reset is done, the store will open automatically. Login then try downloading Minecraft again. Uninstall and reinstall store. Step 1. Press Windows plus X key to open the Quick Link menu. Step 2. Choose Windows PowerShell, Admin, to open PowerShell with administrative privileges. Step 3. Run the command get apex package, Windows Store. Remove apex package. Step 4. Restart your computer. Step 5. When the screen comes back on, open Windows, PowerShell, Admin, again, and run the command get apex package, Windows Store. All users, 4 ache, add apex package, disable development mode, register, dollar install location, apex manifest, XML. Get in touch with customer support. If all of the above solutions have failed to address the issue, you will have to contact Microsoft Customer Support. You can use the support button on their official website or contact them via their official social accounts.